All right, everybody. I think we are recording. Welcome to this uh, Zoom call tonight. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy schedule. Uh, I promise you it will be worth it. During today's call, we want to talk about a brand new and very innovative opportunity, uh, which is called eGold. And eGold can potentially help you to build some passive income using the latest NFT and smart contract technology. So if NFT and the smart contract doesn't sound familiar to you, please bear with me. Yeah, we will cover all the basics and then we will talk about the details of, of this opportunity here. So first of all, uh, let's talk about uh, the native cryptocurrency of eGold, which is also called eGold. And talking about cryptocurrency, uh, even if you are new to that, you might have heard about Bitcoin. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency and to me this is the only truly decentralized uh, cryptocurrency which is 100% peer-to-peer. It has no uh, central authority that can manipulate, change or stop transactions because there is no CEO, there is no physical office. It's completely peer-to-peer. -peer. It, it means that there is many many different computers sitting all around the world uh, that are connected to one big network and uh, those uh, computers are also called nodes and at the beginning it was regular PCs before the first halving when the mining difficulty was low so mining difficulty means basically how many competitors are in the network so the more uh, nodes so those computers are also called nodes the more nodes in the system, the, the higher the difficulty, the more difficult it is to, to mine or to, to get some new Bitcoins, right? So, and the difficulty was low at the beginning because the, there were only a few computers uh, mining Bitcoin. And that's why you were able to use regular PCs to mine Bitcoin. That was before the first halving. And um, after the first halving, after the second halving, it was only possible to mine bitcoins with specialized hardware called ASIC miners. But we will talk about mining in a few moments. Uh, let me cover the term NFT for you guys. So if you are new to NFT, NFT stands for non-fungible tokens. So this is a unique digital asset sitting on the blockchain and it can be anything it can be a jpeg it can be a painting it can be a drawing it can be a music uh, title like a song it can be a tweet it can be your brain downloaded as ai and put on the blockchain so it's called non-fungible because if you exchange one unique digital asset for another like one jpeg for another you will have a totally new and unique asset if you exchange one bitcoin for another bitcoin you will have um, pretty much the same uh, product the same value right one bitcoin is always one bitcoin but nft is all nfts are unique one of its kind and the, the weird thing is with nfts uh, everyone can use your jpeg that is sitting on the blockchain in your wallet but only you can claim that you own it so you basically have the bragging rights you can say this is mine so this is what makes NFT so weird. And then also smart contracts. Uh, this is a term that refers to smarter blockchains like Ethereum. So Ethereum is smarter than Bitcoin. It doesn't mean it's better than Bitcoin. To me, Bitcoin is the best asset in the world because it's unhackable, it's uh, unstoppable, and uh, it's, uh, it's completely peer-to-peer. -peer. So there is no institution that can ever uh, intervene in any transactions happening on the blockchain. Ethereum is smarter than Bitcoin. It can do smart contracts. So let me use a grocery store as an example. So if you pay $100 at the cashier in a grocery store, uh, the smart contract will distribute this $100 across all the different stakeholders like suppliers, like it will pay the rent, it will pay the salaries that will pay taxes and so on and so on. So, so smart contracts can automate ecosystems. So, and um, Ethereum has become very uh, slow over time, very big, very heavy, very slow. And that's why there is a, a layer two solutions 
that are being built on top of Ethereum. And one of those layer two solutions is Binance Smart Chain. And this is the blockchain that eGold will be using. So the eGold uh, token will be sitting on the Binance Smart Chain. So, and um, the, this, this token will be the, the core of a mining system, of a virtual mining system uh, that is being built on the metaverse. So let me first show you uh, what miners will be available for purchase and then we talk about mining itself. So there will be four types of miners uh, that uh, we can buy and the smallest is G1 uh, which is only 20 BUSD. BUSD is the stable coin of Binance, the biggest exchange of the world and probably the most secure, the most, the safest stable coin uh, next to USDC that I know. Uh, I would not advise you guys to use USDT, but I think BUSD and USDC is, is fairly safe. So, and the second biggest miner is uh, G2 that costs $100 and has 100 MetaHash. So MetaHash is basically how the mining power will be measured. Uh, with Bitcoin, it's TeraHash, it's uh, MegaHash and so on. But here we use the term MetaHash, like Metaverse. Uh, and uh, G3 will be 500, G4 will be 2500. And we talk about the Metaverse a lot. Um, and this has become a big buzzword after Facebook has rebranded to Meta. So Metaverse is basically a virtual reality that has been around for, for years in gaming. We just didn't call it Metaverse. But now with Facebook moving to Meta, uh, all of a sudden metaverse is the new buzzword and that's the new name of virtual reality and right after Facebook announced the rebranding projects like Decentraland and Sandbox uh, started mooning right going to the moon uh, the token has exploded the mana token the sandbox token they have exploded uh, well obviously now we are in a correction uh, in the bear market so those tokens are now, uh, yeah, not not at all time high, but yeah, I, I see them coming back after we start heading towards new all time highs in crypto. All right. So what's uh, the challenge with traditional mining that we discussed uh, when talking about Bitcoin? So as I mentioned, you need ASIC miners to do Bitcoin mining and those machines are fairly expensive. Uh, and also lead times, which is not mentioned here. It will take eight, uh, probably six to eight months to get your machine from China if you order them from Bitmain. And then the maintenance cost is pretty high. Uh, you have a lot of energy that is needed. Uh, you need um, electricity and you also need some cooling because those machines produce a lot of heat and typically you have no control over your machines if you uh, store them in mining facilities because you cannot store them in your home, in your basement because they produce too much noise and too much heat. And also if you use cloud mining platforms, there's no way for you to verify where the machines are located. So, and uh, you also might uh, face downtime. So if, uh, uh, if internet, goes down or, or if electricity will not be available your machines might face downtime and you also face repair and maintenance costs so and eGold is solving this problem and, and again i'm not saying mining is bad it's just not easy to operate for regular people like you and me only a few players can can do mining in a, a profitable way uh, and eGold offers the solution because eGold is replacing physical miners with a new class of virtual mining machines built utilizing a NFT technology. And uh, we will talk about a NFT, but what eGold is, it's an autonomous, verifiable, transparent and traceable mining solution sitting in the metaverse. So what is a a NFT. That's an 
algorithmic non-fungible token. We talked about regular NFTs. This is JPEGs. This is pictures of apes or of CryptoPunks, whatever. Uh, and ANFTs are a lot smarter. They are not just JPEGs. They have uh, programming or business logic coded into them by default. So uh, they can manage some specific business logic built into those NFTs. And we will talk about this logic uh, on the next slide. So, and I'm specifically referring to the mining logic that is built into uh, those virtual miners. On the left side, you see those four miners that we discussed, G1, G2, G3, G4. And um, the first unique logic is that before you can claim rewards, before you can claim your mining rewards, you have to pay MetaFuel, uh, which is 50% of the mining rewards. Well, that might sound expensive. That might sound like a limiting factor. But here's the thing. Here's the unique thing. The 50% MetaFuel uh, has to be paid in eGold. So what, what this does is it makes you go to PancakeSwap, where eGold will be listed, buy eGold, burn it before you can get your claim, before you can get your rewards, you have to burn 50% of eGold. So not only it creates demand on the exchange, it also reduces the total supply. So it's, it's essentially 50% burning. So it's a deflationary model. It reduces the supply with every claim. And there's also maximum 10 claims that you can perform. So the lifetime of those miners is pretty much unlimited unless you claim. So and after 10 claims, your miner is done. Your miner is not producing any rewards anymore. We will look at spe uh, specific examples to make you understand what that means. But uh, the claims, this claiming logic really avoids uh, people from claiming every day, going to the exchange and dump the Eagle tokens on the exchange. So that pretty much reduces the selling pressure. So those two logics that you see here, they really help reducing uh, the selling pressure because it reduces the inflation it reduces the circulating supply and this is all things that support the value of eagle there's also a claim tax so with every claim uh, the miner will depreciate by five percent and after 10 claims you cannot use this miner anymore this miner will be burned and taken out of the circulation so there's also a warehouse cost of 1% uh, that is attached to the to the miner. And those this, this logic here is very complex. And the ANFT can handle all this complex uh, transactions. So a regular NFT is only a JPEG. So this is just to illustrate how those claims will look like. So MY, this is the mining yield. This is what you get as net yield. So the MF burn, this is the meta fuel that will be burned. And then D, that's depreciation. So with the first claim, there is no depreciation. There is no claim tax. You basically get 50% net value. Well, if you deduct the warehouse fee, that will be 49. 49% net yield on the first claim. On the second claim, you will have 5% depreciation. So that means you get 45 minus 1% warehouse, which is 44. You get 44 e-gold net value. So if you look at the last claim, 10 of, at the 10th claim, you will basically get 5% net uh, e-gold. Well, minus 1% warehouse, 4 e-gold. So if you claim 100 e-gold, you will get 4 e-gold on the 10th claim. So, and that really makes people uh, plan their withdrawals, their claims. So, and that really, really reduces the inflation because people will plan their withdrawals very, uh, very carefully. All right. So let's talk about e-gold mining versus uh, 
physical mining so the miner cost is pretty low twenty dollars if you if you talk ASIC miners uh, I think you will pay yeah a couple of thousands to get one ASIC miner and then miner verification it's a clear yes because it's a, a NFT sitting in your wallet and you if you own the keys you can uh, nobody can take it from you right it's different with physical miners of course then energy consumption there is none so basically yeah whatever your smartphone consumes that's the energy consumption uh, and with physical miners it's a lot of energy a lot of electricity and then the mine the miner shelf life is very long it can be uh, yeah it can be unlimited if you don't claim and then metaverse yes with physical miners there is no metaverse of course minor maintenance not needed shipping costs not existing minor downtime not possible as long as the blockchain is up as long as the internet is up your miner will be producing rewards for you okay this is the tokenomic uh, and if you guys uh, know if you guys understand the tokenomics of Bitcoin this will look very familiar to you so the maximum supply is 21 million um, similar to Bitcoin but realistically uh, with this burning logic uh, we will probably have a maximum supply of five to six million because 50 percent will be burned uh, for the meta fuel and then in average 22 percent will be burned while claiming so this is pretty much a 72 percent burning uh, over the life cycle of of eagle and the life cycle or the, the the mining period is 80 years 20 million will be available for mining hundred thousand will go to liquidity farming so you can become a liquidity provider to eagle versus busd or eagle versus bnb and get rewarded for that if you're part of tech protocol you can stake your tech coins and get eagle for that because this eagle mining system is built by tech protocol by the tech protocol developers and some of the funds some of the money will go to development to the development funds some will go to the team and some will go to uh, liquidity on pancake swap which is 15,000 that will be added into pancake swap every day 1,000 tokens every day over the first 15 days and the listing of eagle is scheduled for 27th of august and we will have a look at the roadmap just in a few moments let's first cover the invitation program so eagle is a invite only opportunity so you will need a referral code from your sponsor and the referral code is the wallet address of your sponsor um, so if you make a sale you will get 18 percent direct sale so if you sell a G2 miner at $100, you will get $18 instantly that you can claim anytime. So miners will be purchased in BUSD and commissions come in BUSD as well. And if you start referring more and more people and you will start generating team sales, you can grow the 18, 18%. So if you, let's say, make $40,000 team turnover, you will get 30% direct sales okay and if you have a partner uh, below you that is let's say at 24% all his sales or her sales will get you the difference between his or her percentage and your percentage so if you're on 30 and this person is on 24 you get the difference of 6% and the bigger your difference the bigger your percentage so the challenge is always to be it up front to be ahead of your partners below so as long as there is a difference you can earn earn from their teams without doing anything right because they do the work uh, and you get rewarded for having referred them so this compensation plan is really unique and is very rewarding so i promised you to talk about the roadmap um, so eagle minor pre-sale is happening as we speak on the 10th of August mining will start so right now we get a pre-sale discount of up to six percent so on the biggest miner 
we get 6% off right now. So, and trading of Eagle starts on 27th of August. So this is when Eagle will be listed on PancakeSwap and we will be able to buy it. And this is where, where we will be able to claim our rewards because claiming rewards is only possible if we have some eagle on hand okay and then eagle liquidity farming first of september so this is where we will become provided uh, liquidity providers and can earn passive income uh, tech coin farming 6th of september mining metaverse the second version is 22nd of uh, september and then the mobile app will launch on the 22nd October and through the mobile app we will be able to get a free baby miner a free miner with one meta hash okay it's a one dollar miner just for for new people to try and to see how the logic works before they buy a bigger miner so and um, you can also refer to the gitbook you see the the link to the gitbook here in the right lower corner but it's actually easy to find if you go to egold.farm uh, which is the official URL and then you hit enter app oh no sorry if you hit learn more that will take you to the gitbook and here you will find all the details if you will find the roadmap you will find the list of miners and you see what this miner we get six percent off you will find the tokenomics uh, and here you will see that the Binance Smart Chain will produce 6,849 tokens per day and those tokens will be distributed across all the network participants. So let's say there is 6,849 miners in the system. Every miner will get one token daily. Uh, and we can also simulate the earnings using the mining calculator in the right upper corner and if you use your mo mobile it will be top of the screen so this is uh, where we can choose the miner let's say we have a g2 miner let's say we are mining for 30 days let's say we claim twice and let's say the eagle price is one dollar let's be conservative so this will make you earn 51 e-gold in 30 days uh, and basically your share of the network is 0.02 so 100 from almost 400,000 this is 0.25 percent so you get 51 e-gold uh, you will burn 25 to claim them you will pay the depreciation of 2.59 and you get 0.5 uh, warehouse tax so your net e-gold will be $22 per month okay this is considering that the gold price will be $1 so how to start uh, you basically buy a e-gold miner you stake it you claim e-gold you trade e-gold you hold e-gold and to join uh, e-gold you need a web free wallet a decentralized web free wallet I highly recommend to use MetaMask. Uh, it's available for the desktop, for the Google Chrome browser. It's also available as an app. So all you have to do is to add the Binance Smart Chain network to your MetaMask. It's actually very easy. Just Google MetaMask Binance Smart Chain and the best uh, link will be the one from Binance.com. Uh, so this is what you will have to do. It's very easy. You go to uh, settings, you, you go to networks, and then you add network, and then you enter the network name Smart Chain. Uh, the RPC URL is this one. Just copy paste, and then cha chain ID 56 symbol BNB Explorer is optional, but you can do it. BSCScan.com, and that's it. And then you load some BNB on that wallet that you can buy from Binance uh, and then you load some BUSD on it you can also buy it from Binance and you're ready to go so you basically connect your wallet uh, and then you uh, confirm that you're using MetaMask 
In the next step, it will ask you for the referral code. Uh, and then what you do, you go to, well, I don't need the referral code because I'm already registered. Then you go to buy a miner, choose your miner, and then approve BUSD first. And then the buy now button will show up and you are all set. All right. And you can buy up to 25 miners on one wallet. All right, everybody. So this is all I wanted to share with you. Uh, if you want to stay up to date on Eagle, join the official Telegram group. Uh, you will find the link down below as well. Also join the Twitter. And uh, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Thanks for coming on tonight. Thanks for listening to me. And see you soon in the eGold Metaverse. Bye.